Three. I just arrived in Istanbul, so I was in Cape Town last night, had a bit of an evening out. Plan was to stay in Cape Town, but it didn't work out, so I'm going to be in Istanbul for a while. And I'm going to do a few vlogs about Istanbul, the old, my old party town. So that's what's going to happen next. Watch out for the aliens. We're waiting for action at the bar and the new bar man is getting training here. Uh, he said he's not shy, so just please, <laughs> please continue guys. I'm sorry for interrupting your training. There's a good reason why I hang out in bars and why I love bar counters. This is one of my favorite bar counters. Because I like stories, I tell stories. And uh, you sit at a bar and you just sit here and observe, and you keep your mouth shut. Shit happens around you all the time. People come to you and they speak about their lives. Uh, things happen in the corners, uh, you make connections, and you're just sitting here. So the whole world starts revolving around you, kind of. I don't mean it egocentric, but it's just interesting thing about bars and why I love hanging out in bars is because it's like a free show. Well, it's not free, but uh, you know what I'm saying. So you can sit and have a drink and things start happening. And uh, you pick up stories here, man. And uh, that's why bars are popular. So just talking about why I'm sitting at bar counters, you meet people and hear stories. And I just met this young man. What's your name? How's it, man? JP Kleinhans. Um, What's your story? Born and raised in Stellenbosch, went to school over here, and then worked in the US after I got my degree and just got back and now we're just in the fishing mission and having a good time. Yeah, been catching a lot of fish these days. Stay the liner. So now you're sitting at the bar with me and listening to stories. I'm just going to sit here for an hour or two and see who pitches up and I'm going to see if they want to say something on the camera and that will be a vlog. It's a bar vlog. It's a new type of vlog. Thanks JP. Yeah, anytime man. This is the new very nervous barman is practicing. He's shot pouring. How is he doing? I think he's doing okay. Looks okay to me. He's done this before, obviously. No, t <laughs> What's your name, sir? Chabon. And this is your first day at Akira as well. At the Akira, yes, first day. <laughs> the moment. So you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Ah, thanks so much. We're going to sit here for an hour or so, uh, stall, and see who pitches up at the bar. It's very quiet, actually. And I'm waiting for my friend Henry. I'm staying with him in a beautiful space just out of town. It's a nature reserve. And Have those single gins gone out yet? Here's a new uh, customer. Not yet, it's right here. Can you do me a favor and don't bring all four at the same time? I don't want to look like I'm really greedy. <laughs> okay, sure. Please. How are, you, how are you feeling now? Good. What's your name, by the way? Tracy. I'm doing a, a social experiment here. I'm sitting in a bar and see who's, who's coming to the bar and just hearing what the story is. Oh. So I see, so well, what's your, do you have a story? Um, my story is I'm on a date. Okay. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Very good. I'm glad, Can't man. Complain. I'm glad. Very good. I hope it keeps on going good. Just remember, you have to get to know them before the true cars come out. But you That's know that. very true. Hence why we, we're splitting those um, G GNTs into like four instead of two doubles. Enjoy, man. Yes, come and, come and uh, introduce him, please. I will do. Okay, so yeah, that's another person we met. Like I said, it's quite quiet. I'm staying out of town in a friend's place, which I will show you. But for now, I'm just going to sit here and speak to random people and show it to you. Two camera angle, I'm gonna sit here for a while still waiting for my friends, so I'm gonna order a bottle of white wine. You see, what I'm doing is, a, this is an expensive job what I'm doing. I'm entertaining you guys and I have to sit at the bar and drink wine because I can't sit here and do any, nothing, you know? <laughs> yeah. So if you like this video, if you like this video, go on my YouTube landing page, there's a button that says, uh, buy me a beer. And you can buy me a beer, you know? And then I can sit at bar counters and bring you more videos. Okay, there we go, the bar. A new barman, let's see how fast he does this. Give him points, is he doing it well or not? Okay, one bottle of house white wine, one glass and loads of ice. Sure. House okay. white wine. House is white wine. Is this? There's mistake number one. Okay, going into the fridge, getting the wine. Let's see, it's counting, counting at this time. Yep. 
Glas. Lots of us. In a tumbler. In a tumbler. Yeah. In a tumbler. It's okay, doing okay. Everything looking good. Um, looking good. And the bottom? So, write the barman in the video, give him points in the comments. Glass. There's one mistake here. Can you spot the mistake? There's no uh, ice in my glass. Come here. I have to put in some ice in the glass as well, separately from that separate. ice. Yeah. But that is for my for my topping up ice. Yeah. But I think you did okay for a for a new bomb, and I will give you like seven out of ten. Ah, oh, thanks Pretty so good. much. <laughs> thanks, buddy. Thanks. So now they say the proof of the wine is in the tasting. And in the morning after. The best house wine on planet Earth in the Acker in Stellenbosch. But there's a big event in the bar that just happens every day. Like all these, <laughs> these girls arrived. I heard I'm here, so they just arrived. Hi! Hello! Are you, are you here because I, I'm here or why are you? We are here because we are here. Tell the truth. No, they obviously work here. So. Yeah, there's new people at the bar. We've got new people at the bar. Yeah. Who are you? I'm TJ. And Myself. you? What, what is your guys' story? What do you guys do? Um, study. Yeah. Still. Still they study. They no, like very young. What did you study? What do you guys study? I did financial accounting now, management sciences. Okay, and you? I am doing honors this year for accounting. Okay, lots of, lots of students, students in town. I was here for four years as well as a student. And I'm assuming the town is very quiet now and there. There's no pretty, is there any students in town? Mm, there's a few. I came here yesterday, so I think it's picking up now. No, the last week. Mm. Yeah, it's been a few. Okay, that's the news from the student front at the bar desk. This is the other barman that just came on shift and I was just asking me questions. I thought maybe you guys would like to know. So I wanted to know uh, in the Acker, do you guys share your tips? How does it work? Ah, we don't share tips. You make your own tip, yeah. So. What's the reason for that? If you work hard, you will earn your own money. So if you don't work hard, why should I split my tip with you? So yeah, it's basically that. It sounds like a good policy. It's totally gangster style, like <laughs> hardcore. And the other thing I want to know is like, you've got waiters and you've got barmen. So between waiters and barmen, do waiters make more tips than barmen or barmen? More than waiters or doesn't it work like that? Is, is, it, is it all individual? Uh, it's basically, Waiters make more tips than us because like you have to uh, it's not a must or like that but it's always ten percent on on a bowl if you have if you like waitering but if you're in a the bar they will tip you like ten rain, twenty rain, five rain but it will add up at the end of the night, you see? But waiters do make more tips than bombs. But don't you think maybe it's because waiters are more like uh, flirty also? What do you think? Mm. Is it waiters are oh waiters more flirty than bombing? That's yes. why they make more tips? Yes. That's, okay. that's what it's about. Okay. okay, I just met two new guys that came, but the other guys are a bit shy. Uh, but we've got this guy, he looks like ready to talk. So, uh, what are you oh, doing yeah. What are you doing at this bar? I'm, I'm just here yeah, having a drink, you know, nothing crazy. It's just easy one to pop there. You're going to have a beer to cool it down. Join in a bit of face in the dark. Yeah. What do you do? I'm, I'm working at the moment for my buddy, obviously, mm -hmm. and then drinking at Stellenbosch, you know, nothing crazy. Okay, but uh, what's your philosophy about bar culture? Do you think it's good to hang out in bars or is it bad? I think the more time you can spend in a bar, the better it is. There you go. I'm going to be honest with you, it's going really slow at the bar now. I'm sitting in a corner, I changed position so I can charge everything. I told the bar lady, I will give her 10 rand for every sexy girl she brings to me to interview for my experiment uh, but uh, she brought two girls here and I uh, explained to them I'm doing a social experiment and they, they were just shy to talk to me so luckily I still have 20 bucks in my pocket now but uh, yeah it's a bit slow 
So my friend will be here soon and if I don't get any new people to speak to, this will be the end of this little vlog. But I think it was interesting. If you want me to put on more random conversations with random people at random places, uh, comment in the comment section and help me to grow, man. The guy I was telling you about all day, who I'm waiting for, just arrived. Come into the light, sir. Poet, Afrikaans poet, uh -huh. patron of mine. His family gives me accommodation and food for a long time and I was kind of homeless, which I am again, but I don't mind. Henry Cordier. I will put the links down here, go watch out the Henry stuff. That's me. And I'm going to make a video now for Henry, also, on a beautiful space he's staying at. Uh -huh. We're going to show you it. Thank you Henry for coming to fetch me, my bro. Thank you, man. I haven't seen you for a while.